from the PLA Situation Room in Roy, New Mexico. You're listening to The Snowplow Show. Now it's time on Prank Call Nation. Cactus. 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 playing game. Cactus. 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 I'm not supposed to be doing this. Cactus. 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 This cocksucker. Cactus. 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 You've got to be crap on my balls. Cactus. 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 This is going to be a fuck job to edit. Cactus. 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 You're calling me a hobo. Cactus. 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 You don't make a house a pool. Cactus. 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 How about if I come down and punch your head off? Cactus. 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 I finished that up today. I I used every single voice that was sent to me. If you didn't hear yours in there, then something went wrong and I didn't receive it. Because I used everything, even the ones that were bad quality, I used everything. So thank you, everyone, for sending those in. I like the new intro much more. You guys are awesome for doing all of that for me. Uh, People have been just sending cactus clips constantly since I requested that. And you can still send them in. But just so you know, the intro's done. That's it. But I will still take clips and I'll just, I'll put them in a directory. And the next time I redo the intro, which I'm sure will be by the end of this year, I'll do another intro. I do a couple a year, maybe three a year. But the next time I do an intro, your voice will be used on the next one. So yeah, new intro. The new intro is sponsored by D-Glad. D-Glad is the sponsor of the show. It's weird. It's like D-Glad almost sounds like a name that we all know from before. But now we call him D-Glad. He's like a rapper or something. Thanks for sponsoring the show, D-Glad, and sponsoring the new intro. So I got an email today from a guy named Nick. Uh, Nick is the one who had me do that one neighborhood um, maybe two weeks ago. Like, I think it was a Saturday night show I... Called over. It's, it's when we did the uh, Amazon drone calls and a lot of killing your lawn calls. And uh, he told us the whole neighborhood was just freaked out about the whole thing. They were all talking to each other about it. He got to hear some of the drama, relayed it to us. Uh, but he gave us another idea. He, he's, he wrote this email. It says, uh, he says it branches off from what you told some people on your last show, which was funny. He says, you could tell people that you are with a local exterminator business You captured hundreds of termites from their neighbor's residence, but as you were leaving, the container holding the termites fell out of his truck and broke, sending all of the termites into the victim's lawn. And I like that idea. I think I'm going to give that a try here. That that sounds like that could be a whole other show, just (laughs) accidentally releasing termites into people's yards. Uh, He also says he hopes I received his donation that he sent in the mail. And I didn't even realize that was him, but he sent me like a nice little thank you card with 20 bucks in it. And, and it said, thanks, Nick, but I, I'm, I, I'm slow. I didn't put it together. I didn't realize that was that Nick because he didn't have a return address or anything on it. Uh, good thinking there. Don't give me your address because you've seen the type of things I do to your neighborhood. But thanks, Nick. Thanks for that nice card with... The money in it. I spent it all on drugs. Best drugs in the world. Thank you so much. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, I'm going to finish up that list, the same list from the other the show I did the other night. I'm going to go through this list. Anyone that doesn't answer, I'm just deleting them. I'm just going to finish up this list, try everyone again, and get rid of this dumb list of this neighborhood where everyone knows it's a joke and they're not as funny as. Nick's neighborhood. Hello. Hello, William. How is he? Hey, this is uh, Roy from Roy's Pest Control. Uh huh. And we accidentally uh, we let loose a bunch of termites in your front yard by accident. Uh, our our delivery our our truck was on the way back from another job, and the termite trap escaped. It like rolled off the truck and entered your yard. Okay. And we just realized that it was empty, so they all must have escaped when they hit your front porch. 
I don't have a front porch. Well, you know what I mean, the front of the house. How are you going to take care of it? Oh, there's not much we can do now. I just wanted to say, you know, sorry. Well, let me tell you, if I got termites, sorry ain't going to cut it. Yeah, yeah, it sucks. I mean, there was over 50,000 termites in that trap. We've been collecting them all week from other jobs. So, you need to treat... You need to treat my house, then. Oh, no. <clears throat> oh, no. No. Well, you're, you're not going to scam us out of a free treatment. I'm, well, you're not going to scam me into uh, dumping a shitload of termites at my house well, t- and say sorry and get away with it's it. It's not a scam. It's just It was just an accident. Just an innocent mistake. Well, I'm sorry, then you have to innocently take care of it. No, no, we can't. We can't. We're, we're really busy. We're really swamped this week. We just don't have the time. Well, I'm sorry, but uh, I, if I have to get a lawyer to take care of it, I can do that. No. Now don't call me and tell me you dumped 50,000 termites in front of my house and then tell me sorry, but I ain't going to do nothing about it. It might have only been 40,000. <clears throat> I expect for you to take care of it. Uh, I don't know what we can do, really. I mean... Oh, you can that's, come and treat my house that's too much for termites because you dumped them on my house. That's too much for us to handle all at once, you know? Well, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's your problem, not mine. We're just... No, no, it's your problem because it's on your house. No, it's going to be your problem. If I have termites, it will be your problem. Okay. Well, Trust me. Well, you know, just like if you end up having termites, just let us know. Just give us a call. But hopefully you won't. Hopefully, maybe they'll just go to someone else's house well not if you dumped them in front of my house yeah that's true that's a good point so what you doing today did you go to church no I'm at home oh well did you go to church earlier no you should go to church church is good for you it's good for the soul Uh, yeah I know alright no, I'm not really with the termite company. I'm really with uh, the First Baptist Church. And I'm just trying to get more members to come. Well, um, I think that's a real sorry way to go about it. Oh, come on. No, 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 no. That's, it's, no it's not funny. No, I'm not trying to be funny. And it's, ridi- but, and it's a ridiculous way to try to get people to come to your church. Well, no. Um, now, yes. you're, now you're thankful that you don't have termites. You should. No, I'm not. I'm, I'm upset because you call me with some ridiculous thing. Yeah, I mean, oh, come on, why would we keep live termites in a trap? That makes no sense. Well, <clears throat> I'm sorry, but uh, I'm a Catholic and I don't go to the Baptist church. Oh, that's that's like that's very hateful of you. Well, I'm sorry. Come on, come on just once. Okay, I've gone through the entire list now. Uh, there was a good... I don't know, 15 numbers in there. And that's the only guy that worked out. A couple of them answered, but they didn't believe me. One lady, um, she was very upset because we called her at 2 in the morning the other night. And she, she's, uh, she made all kinds of threats at me. I mean, it wasn't funny. It sounds funny, but I'm going... I'm not going to keep that in the show. That's... Uh, it's, it's just not interesting. Um, yeah, nobody answered. Uh, the list is finished. So, um, I have this other request, though. I think this will work out. Uh, a listener named Bonnie just sent it to me, and uh, it's it's a neighborhood call. Uh, she's sent, talking about how she enjoys our neighborhood calls. She enjoyed our neighborhood calls this past weekend, or this past week. Hey, before I start that, though, before I forget, uh, Cactus Smoke, everyone's favorite singer in the PLA, uh, he, I want to I want to uh, play you his uh, Cactus submission for the intro. Let's let's see if I left hey, all Brad. this. Hey Brad, it's Cactus Smoke. Um, I guess I'm gonna do this cactus thing for you. Um, you probably already have a few, but I'll try and give you a couple different samples. Cactus, cactus, cactus. Okay, cover your ears. Cactus. Cover your ears, everyone. Cactus. Cactus. And now I have to buy you speakers. <laughs> nope, nope, no, you don't, because I saw it coming. You know, I opened up the waveform, and I could, I could see the the loudness coming when I first listened to that. So, 
You didn't get me on that one. But yeah, I thought that was amusing. Hopefully you guys did too. Okay, anyway, enough of that. Uh, here's Bonnie's request that she sent just a little bit earlier. She says, my lawn killing pranks are hilarious. And this would be perfect for this guy that I guess Bonnie knows. He's obsessed with it and his grass. And he is older, so go easy on him. Yeah, right. And his name's Art. And she can't wait to hear it. So let's call Art. Hello? Hello, Art? Yeah. Hey, this is uh, Kevin from Roy's Pest Control. Uh-huh, yeah. Uh, um, we accidentally uh, let loose a bunch of, of termites on your lawn. Uh, we were uh, leaving from another job, and um, the termite trap rolled off of the truck and landed in your yard. So it's, uh, you know, about 30,000 termites that were inside the trap. Yeah, okay. So uh, I just wanted to apologize for that. Good. But we, we picked up the trap... And um, uh, everything's fine. We got the tra- trap off of your lawn, but all the termites escaped. So what are you telling me? I, I just wanted to let you know that we're sorry because we let loose all these termites in your yard. It was just an accident. It was one of yeah, our who is this? One of our drivers. They were kind of inexperienced. So, so they, what are you going to do about it? Well, I'm, I'm just letting you know, just so you know, like if you have a, just so you weren't surprised about the termites doesn't make any sense. So you didn't do anything about it. You didn't spray or anything. Well, no, we picked up the trap. The trap was broken, actually, but we're not going to charge you for breaking our trap. And where did this trap come from? Uh, it came off of the truck. We were. Um, he was on his way back from a couple other jobs. And you're not going to charge me for breaking the trap? Correct, yeah. It broke on... T- yes, what are you talking about? No, no, it broke on your front porch. I'm just saying it broke on your property, so it's kind of your fault. But on the front porch? Yep. On the porch? Well, on the front of the house area. I don't know. I wasn't there. I'm just relaying what the driver told me. So, what what should I be concerned about? Uh, all the termites in your lawn. Look, that, I'm going to need a phone number and a name on this. That would be my this concern. Crazy. Whose, lawn, whose lawn were you treating? Tell me who it was. Oh, I can't give away customer data like that. You could be an identity thief or something. Well, so could you. This, is a, this sounds like a hoax to me. Well, I'm not the one asking for people's information. I just want some kind of verification that you, that you did that what happened happened. Okay, well, I mean, you don't have to believe What's me. My I, I'm just I'm trying to be neighborly and let you know. What's my address? Uh, you're on Lake Vista Court. Okay, so you're not going to do anything about it. You're not going to try to remedy the situation. Well, no, I am. I'm letting you know. I'm just I'm being neighborly and letting you know that we it was just an accident. It's not our fault. Yes. <laughs> so uh, I'm just stuck with it. Well, What's going to happen to them? You shouldn't look at it like that. I mean, I, mean, I guess they're going to, like, you know, just eat wood and stuff, like termites do. And what's the name of your company again? Uh, Roy's Pest Control. We're R-O-Y apostrophe S? Yes. Uh-huh, yeah, yeah. And what's your phone number? Uh, it's 844. Uh-huh, and then... 6582. Yep, that's it. And what's your address? Oh, there you go again, asking for addresses. Are you an identity thief? Oh, you're a business. What's your address? Like, why are, you, why are you being like that? You're being all weird and sketchy. Weird? Somebody telling me you just dumped 30,000 termites in my front yard? That's not weird? It's just an accident. It's happened before. It's not a big deal. So the, what is the bet, address for Roy's Pest Control? I, I bet you half of them will die anyway. What's the address? Like half of them probably won't even make it to your house to eat. So only got 15000 to worry about, huh? Probably. I mean, it's not a big deal. What is Roy's pest control address? Well, just look it up on the internet. Because you're making me feel really uncomfortable giving out personal information. It's not like, personal first information. First, you're trying it's to get business. information of your neighbors. Now yeah, this. It's the name of a business. So that's just what I'm asking for the address. Well, maybe, I'm an unlisted, right? maybe I'm an unlisted business. Do you ever think of that? I'm just asking for the address, that's all. Okay, well, I, I don't really even want you to visit. We're not even open on Sundays. I'm not surprised about that. Why aren't you surprised? What does that mean? I'm not surprised that you're not open on Sundays. Okay, so there's no reason Most to have our address. people are not open on Sundays. Well, that's not true. Seven Eleven's open. Movie theaters are open. Grocery stores are open. 
Roy's Pest Control. I don't know why you're getting, why, why, I don't understand why you're getting an attitude about all this. I'm just trying to no, well, be yeah. nice. And <laughs> well, then, then you truly don't understand what it's like to be a homeowner then. Thank you for your call. Hey, You've been very considerate to let me know about your accident. Hey, I'm a homeowner, and it was your fault. It's not our accident. Wait, 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 wait. My fault? Why was it my fault? Well, it broke on your house. You dropped it. Your house is in the way. Nobody dropped it. It just rolled off the truck. It was like an act of God. And it's my fault. It's more my fault. You just f- said it was God's fault. It's more your fault than it is God's fault. How could it be my fault? Because I live here? Because I live in Clayton County? Yeah. Well, I, see, there you go, getting an attitude again. I don't know what your problem is. Uh, incidentally, would you like to buy any of our services? You know, for like uh, Absolutely termite? not. Well, I mean, we could get rid of the termites. Absolutely not. It sounds like a scam to me. How's it a so scam? don't call me again. You're the scammer trying to get personal information. I'm just a business. Well, there you go, Bonnie. I called Art. Also, Bonnie, by the way, I tried to call your other one, the ADT lady today, and she still doesn't answer. Like, uh, I don't know if you heard that on the show before. I think I mentioned that on the show, but... That lady you're sending me from ADT just does not answer her phone, ever. I've tried like a billion times. So goddamn it, quit sending me her number. (sighs) No, sorry, I don't mean to complain, but yeah, she just won't answer. It's, It's hopeless for the ADT lady. I love how neither of those men, like, really questioned the capture of termites. Like, why would anyone capture termites? Don't you just kill them? I mean, I don't know anything about pest control, but I think that's how it works. I think you kill termites. You don't trap them and take them somewhere. Hello? Hello, is Bradley there? Um, just a second, please. Okay. Hello? Hello, Bradley? Yeah. Hey, this is Kevin from the National Extraterrestrial Investigation Team. This is we, crap. Don't call me again. No, we were we were just noticing uh, some activity over your house last night on our radars. Yeah. Bradley. No, that's why someone says Bradley. so weird but that's the guy i called the other night and remember they they didn't hang up the phone properly then and we were able to hear them talking about us for a while until they fell back asleep and the same thing happened again like he did not hang up the phone correctly and i got to sit there and listen to him talk about me Uh, i'm I'm probably going to cut most of it out because it was really really long and you could barely understand them but I don't know. I just I just sat there and listened for over five minutes. Them talking about me and aliens and ghosts. Something about ghosts. I don't know what they were talking about with ghosts. Anyway, that was a alien abduction person who posts on Facebook. I guess Andy found a Facebook uh, alien abductee support group on Facebook and uh, just looked at the people who posted on there and then looked up their numbers and sent me a list. And I just called a. Uh, about six of them and he's the only one that answered and that didn't go well but i'll hold on to the list a little bit longer and i'll I'll keep trying these i'm I'm having a hard time getting through to anyone they're probably the types that are too paranoid to pick up their phones you know because aliens i blame d glad because he is this show's fall guy we don't have sponsors anymore we have fall guys I wish I had some news to read, but like really the the whole prank calls in the news has been completely dead the past couple of weeks. That's why I haven't done any news lately. Usually I have news in my show notes.
but uh, all there is is uh, pranks to 911. Uh, I, I never talk about those because it's boring. It's just pranks to 911. And then the other thing I see a lot of, and I have seen a lot of lately, um, but I also hardly ever talk about this, but uh, people who, uh, you know, swatting pranks. All these Xbox swatting pranks, which personally I theorize they're all done by the same person. But the news articles always makes it seem like it's just a fad among Xbox Live users. They all just swat each other. That's that's what you do when you get angry in an Xbox Live game. You uh, you use a computer to disguise your number, and then you swat the other guy's house. You get their information, because that's easy to do on Xbox Live for the average Xbox Live user. But yeah, a lot of that happening lately. Lots of pranks that aren't really pranks. Maybe I need to refine my Google News search terms or something and try and find more stuff. More prank call stuff. What else do we have here? Ryan wants me to call his aunt. Ryan is a horrible nephew. He says, my aunt has a Christian catering service called blah, 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 blah. I probably shouldn't say it because then people look it up because I already found her website. Her name is Pat, and she's one of those extreme Baptists, we're afraid of the entire world type of people. Seeing as I'm related to her, I'm excited to hear the aftermath of this prank. I don't really care what you do, just be aware that religion and her business is intertwined. So I put Pat's cell phone number into Google, and I found her website. And I looked up the website, and it's hosted by GoDaddy, so I think I'm going to call as GoDaddy. Hello? Hello, uh, is this Pat? Yes. Hey, this is uh, Stephen from GoDaddy, your hosting company. Yes. And um, yes. I'm just calling to inform you, we, we had to suspend your hosting account and your domain name for uh, for religious hate speech. What do you mean? Um, well, you know, just we, we, we have like policies about what kind of content you're allowed to have. And, like we're not allowed to do anything that's hateful or against religion. I don't have like, anything like that on there. Oh, no, we, we looked at the page. We could see it all on there. Where? On your your website, on uh, pat.net. Yes. Yeah, we saw all the hate stuff, like you're, um, you know, bashing Baptists and... and, um, No, we didn't have... I don't have anything like that, and I'm not giving any personal information over the phone. Well, I'm not asking for any... I'll call daddy myself. I'm not asking for personal information. I'm just letting you know that we've suspended... Oh, my God. (laughs) She turned really suspicious immediately. Reach the voicemail of Pat. Thank you for calling. Please leave your name, telephone number, and a brief message, and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Have a great day. Pat, you big dummy. Uh, I wasn't asking for any information. I don't know where you got the idea that I was asking for information. When did I ask for information? God, you're so paranoid. Just trying to help. <laughs> okay, sorry, Ryan. That didn't go as well as I guess we would have hoped. But maybe you'll hear some hilarious stories from your aunt about GoDaddy. You should, you should go hang out with her soon and buy her dinner or something, and maybe she'll tell you a hilarious story. Wait, let me call her one more time and just kind of try to increase the chances of a hilarious story for Ryan. I'm going to call from a different number this time. You've reached the voicemail of Pat. Thank you for calling. Please leave your name, telephone number, and a brief message, and I will get back to you as soon as possible. I was hoping she'd pick up. Hello, Pat. This is Chuck from AT&T Wireless. I'm calling about your account. Uh, It looks like uh, we've we've traced some uh, harassing activity back to your phone. It looks like you've been sending hateful, hateful, religious, hateful text messages to people all over town. And you need to cut that out because that's not very Christian-like and it's against our policies here at AT AT&T Wireless. So you need to stop with all the hateful text messages you've been sending everyone. Because we're on to you, Pat. We know what you're doing. And you better stop it. Because if you don't, we're going to turn off your account. Yep, that's what we're going to do. So have a nice day. Have a a good Sunday. And uh, I hope you go to church. And you, uh, you think about, you know, you just, you reflect and think about your life and, and what you're doing. And, and just stop harassing 
religious people. It's not nice. Have a nice day. Goodbye. Thank you for using AT&T. There. There, Ryan. I've guaranteed you some hilarious stories from your aunt. And if they're really hilarious, I hope you relay them to me. Flutterpie wants me to do a reference check on Mike, who works at a grocery store, and he ended up quitting to work at a computer place. He's one of those people that's really hard to like. He always has to be right and always tries to one-up you. He told everyone he was a manager at this grocery store, but I talked to someone else who works there and he said he's full of shit and he was never a manager. He thinks he's very knowledgeable about computers, but he failed his CompTIA a certification more than six times. At the place he currently works at, at the computer store, he had a customer threaten to sue him because he doesn't know what he's doing and almost lost all of her data. So I don't know how much luck I'm going to have doing a reference check on a Sunday, but I will give it my best shot. Good evening, Sergeant Heinen. This is Leanne. How can I help you? Hello, is the manager available? Um, hold on one moment. Okay. Hi, this is Judy. How can I help you? Hello, Judy. This is uh, Chuck from Best Buy. And uh-huh. I'm calling to do a reference check on a Mike Mazzola that works there. Uh-huh. Do you have a Mike Mazzola working there? Yes. Okay, yeah. Um, do you know his hire dates and the date that he left? Um, you would need to call our corporate office for that information. Oh, okay. I can do that. Okay. Wait, did you say your name's Judy? Did you say your name's Judy? Yes. Oh, because he wrote in his application here that he fired a a Judy for being an insubordinate. Like he who fired a Judy? Uh, Mike Mazzola did. He's the district manager there, right? No. Oh well, he said he's the district manager and he fired Judy and he goes into all these details about Judy working a glory hole in the bathroom. No, I don't have any idea what you're talking about. Oh, well, are you the only Judy there? I am, and I'm the store director. Oh, no, he yeah, that's, he wrote store director slash glory hole attendant, and he says he fired you. No, Did he, he didn't fire me. But, I mean, he's he's the district manager, manager there, right? No, he's not. No, he's not. Well, why, why would he write that in his application? I have no idea. I have no idea. How how are you answering phones there if you got fired already? This doesn't make I work here. I'm the store director. This doesn't make any sense cuz he wrote on he it's right here on paper. It says he fired you for Now, you're talking to the store director and you just called Heinen's. Who do you think is lying? Well, I don't know. I don't, I don't Mike seems like an honest guy. I don't see why he would lie about firing you. He says you were a bad glory hole attendant and you were insubordinate. Okay, the store director is having none of that. But lucky for us, Flutterpie also gave us Mike's cell phone number. So let's give Mike a call. Hello. Hello, Mike. I'm asking who's speaking. Oh, this is Kevin from Heinen's corporate office. Hang on. I'm sorry? Hello? Hi, are you there now? Oh, yes, I'm here. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, I'm calling from the Heinen's corporate office. Okay, hi. Um, hey, um, I, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm calling because they've authorized me to hire you back at double the pay. They want you to be the new glory hole attendant at Heinen's in the bathroom. <laughs> what? Have you ever worked a glory hole before? Do you have any experience working glory holes? No. Okay, well, they'll train you. It's fine. We have a training program for that. But congratulations. You're welcome to come back and work for us at double the salary. Hello, Mike? Hello. Hello. Is this Mike still? Yes, it is. What's your name? My name is Kevin. So I could... Okay. Are, Are you willing to come back for double the salary? I oh, you're cutting out really bad on your dumb cell phone. Hey, um, I didn't hear that. What was that? Oh, he, he either hung up or it cut off. Uh, no answer. Okay, well, I'm going to assume that he believed everything I told him. And he, he just, like, turned his car around dramatically, and he's heading back toward the grocery store to uh, sign the paperwork and get his job back. 
So congratulations, Mike. You get your job back. Yay! And I think this is a perfect place to end the show on a happy note where where uh, Mike got his job back. It's a happy ending. Happy ending show. That should be my guarantee on this show. Every single show has a happy ending. That's going to be my new slogan. I'm going to put that in the intro, on the next intro. I know this is going to be a short one as far as the podcast goes because uh, like a lot of stuff has not worked out. I've been at this for like nearly two hours now and, and holy crap, the edit's going to be way, way less than an hour, I think. So I apologize if it's a short show. I have kind of bad news. This might be the last show for a while, like for a week. I think there might not be any shows this coming week because I'm going to be out of town for at least a week, maybe a little bit longer. I don't know how long exactly. And uh, I'm kind of doubting I will be able to record. I'm almost certain I won't be able to record. We'll see, though. I don't know. I will keep myself busy in other ways, though. I'm going to upload stuff to YouTube and uh, just work on the other projects. Uh, the poster, the stupid poster thing. It's taking me forever. I need to get that. I need to get going on that. And the telephone falls. I know I'm supposed to start working on telephone falls soon. I've got a lot to do, so I will definitely be keeping myself busy if you don't hear any shows this week. Maybe I'll try and put, put together some best of shows. I'll, I'll, I'll find some really old content that everyone's forgotten about, and I'll just try and pass that off as a show. I don't know, that probably won't work out too well. We'll see. Before I go, though, I have some Patreon news. Well, I mean, first of all, I should just say this. If you want to support the show, go to patreon.com slash phone losers and pledge whatever you can. That will make more shows happen, except for the weeks that I disappear for a week and don't do any shows. And if you don't like Patreon, there's also the option on phonelosers.org where you can just ignore patreon and do it through there phonelosers.org slash cactus and hopefully this coming week i I will get some more work done on that too on the phonelosers.org slash cactus i want to get some more options and other things put on there if anyone has suggestions on other things that i can offer uh please post them on phonelosers.org post them in the comments on slash cactus or email them to me rbcp at phonelosers.org I am completely open to suggestions on everything. Uh, But one thing I've done these past few weeks that people really, really seem to like is I made some of these uh, ID cards. Really nice looking laminated ID cards. I like bought a laminator off eBay and they are, they're they're like employee ID cards or uh, member ID cards. Elite Cactus Squad member ID card is what it says. And I sent one of these to everyone on Patreon. If you're on Patreon, you get an ID card, as long as your address was on Patreon. And I also sent some to some other people who have contributed through other ways. But you're all getting ID cards. Most of of the people in the United States have already gotten them. If you're overseas, then they're on the way. They'll probably be here. They'll probably be there early next week. I think I mailed things out on the second or the third, maybe. I got things mailed out a lot sooner than I usually do. But everyone's emailing me. I'm getting a bunch of emails asking me, saying they want an ID card, uh, even if they're not contributors. And that's fine with me. I would love to give everyone ID cards. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put an option on the Phone Losers store, phonelosers.org slash store, to buy an ID card for five bucks. Uh, If you're poor, if you don't have five bucks, you can send me a dollar. A dollar would be fine. Uh, if you can't afford a dollar, just just ask me for one. Ask really nicely, and I'll just give you one. But I think the ID cards are kind of cool. And if anyone wants an ID card, all you have to do is email me your picture, uh, whatever name you want on the ID card, the position you want on the ID card, uh, your security level, clearance level, whatever it says on there. And I will make you a custom laminated ID card, preferably for five dollars. Hopefully a dollar at least, just for shipping. But I'm glad you guys like the ID cards. And everyone gets an ID card. Every listener gets their very own ID card. Oh, and let me read you some of the benefits of an ID card taken from the uh, Phone Losers Monthly newsletter thing that I send out with Patreon packages. Benefits of the Elite Cactus Squad ID card. Uh, the, the main thing, it will identify you as an authorized 
personnel whenever you're visiting our headquarters in Roy, New Mexico. It'll get you a 10% discount on all domestic flights with JetBlue, JetBlue only for now. And discounts at over 10,000 participating restaurants around the globe. It doubles the coverage of your AAA membership and protects your skin from the sun's harmful rays. It gives you an extra $600 a month on your EBT account and randomly deposits money into your bank account throughout the month thanks to the Inns Botnet 2.0. The smart chip embedded in the card will scramble credit and debit card point of sale machines and fool them into thinking you paid. Whenever you get pulled over while driving, instead of giving the officer your driver's license, just give him your PLA ID card and you will immediately receive a heartfelt apology and you'll be on your way. And finally, if a security guard or other authority figure is chasing you or says something stupid like, Sir, you can't go in there. Just hold up your ID and yell, It's okay. I'm with the PLA and keep running. That's the important thing. Keep running. Don't stop running. So yeah, benefits of having an ID card. I'll put a link in the show notes to how you should, um, you know, like, I guess to an order form or something. I have to create like a, a, an order page for the ID cards. ID cards for everyone. Oh, by the way, speaking of this Phone Loser Monthly, it's in black and white this month. And I swear I'm not being a cheapskate. I wasn't just trying to save on color ink. But uh, my, my printer, it stopped printing in blue. So uh, a lot of stuff wasn't visible. I've fixed it. Uh, after I mailed everything out, I figured out what the problem was, but yeah, they're black and white this month. Not a cheapskate, I swear. Sorry, everyone. I'm sure people care about that. Since I'm 100% positive that everyone listening loves the music of Dean Friedman, I'm ending the show with his number one hit from the 1980s, The Deli Song. So enjoy The Deli Song. The Deli Song.